السلام عليكم وانا سعيد ان انا يعني اشارك الاستاذ مصباح في الديبيت سنوات بعد سنوات انا هخلص من الجمله الاخيره اللي قالها الاستاذ مصباح لو الميت فورم نوظف في مكانه اهلا وسهلا به كفيرست لاين ثيرابي انا متفق معاه تمام طيب هل الميت فورم مكانه مع كل مرضى الديابيتس لا طبعا يعني احنا عشان نبقى واقعيين هنقول لا خلينا نشوف كده الصوديوم جلوكوز كو ترانسبورتر تو اخباره ايه از فيرست لاين ثيرابي ذيس از ماي ديسكلوجر ذيس از ماي اجند دي بعض الديابيتس فاكتس 6.7 مليون حاله وفاه ريليتد للديابيتس في 2021 66% منها بيكوز اوف كارديو فاسكولار ديزيز Diabetic kidney disease is the most leading cause of end-stage renal disease in developed countries. Million amputation per year due to, the, due to diabetes because of macrovascular complications or peripheral neuropathy. This is our goal when we are treating diabetes to prevent acute complications or to prevent or lower chronic complications. This is the evolution of treatment of diabetes to address the goal of treatment of diabetes over 100 years from insulin till sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors. How sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors work? They are working by preventing glucose reabsorption from the proximal convoluted tubules by inhibiting sodium glucose co-transporter 2 receptors. Decreasing intracellular sodium, improving mitochondrial function. By activation of sirtuin 1 sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors, promote erythrobiosis and promote ketogenesis, which have cardioprotective effect. By autophagy, they are improving cardioprotection and decrease oxidative stress. But Does the mechanism of action of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors can be translated into clinical benefit? There is overwhelming cardiovascular and renal trials of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors addressing its effects on the cardiovascular system and the kidney. The EMBREG, the CANVAS program, the CREDENCE, the DECLARE, the VERTIS, the SCORED trials. The net outcome of them is the reduction of major adverse cardiovascular events and decrease of cardiovascular death. There is variability from one member of the group to another, but the net result, there is reduction of cardiovascular death. Regarding the heart failure, All the members of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors decrease the hospitalization or cardiovascular death due to heart failure either reduced or preserved ejection fraction. And this is the liver trial also addressed the value of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitor in reduction of cardiovascular death and hospitalization of heart failure in patients with preserved ejection fraction using dabagliflozin. The renal outcomes in the cardiovascular outcome trials showed a benefit of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors which was not shown by any other anti-diabetic agent in reduction of progression of chronic kidney disease or improving of cardiovascular outcome. This is the renal outcome trial of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 EMBA gliflozin, the EMBA kidney, which showed reduction of progression of chronic kidney disease or cardiovascular death. The same was shown in the DABA CKD, and the same was shown in the CREDENCE trial of canagliflozin. There is overwhelming evidence that sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors can reduce the cardiovascular outcome and can reduce the progression of chronic kidney disease. Can be considered as first-line therapy in type 2 diabetes. 
the evidence can come from population-based cohort studies from the database in the United States of America and the other countries. Patients who started sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitor in comparison to metformin showed lower risk of heart failure, hospitalization, and cardiovascular mortality. In another trial, the hospitalization for heart failure, acute coronary syndrome, and all-cause mortality reduced in the group of patients who used sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitor as first-line therapy compared to metformin. Now comes the issue of cost, as Dr. Musbah said. There is a study in which first-line agents, sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors or glabor receptor agonists could be cost-effective if the price has been reduced by 70%. In Egypt, we have generics which are costless of sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors and the cost is comparable to the cost of metformin. In many of the cases, that's why cost effectiveness, it was not an issue for sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors with the presence of generics. I know this will annoy some of the companies of brand sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors. What guidelines say? This is the European Association for Study of Diabetes, European Society of Cardiology, joint guidelines for treatment of type 2 diabetes. As you can see, stratification of patients who have cardiovascular disease or at very high risk or high risk. They should start with sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors. This is the stratification of patients regarding cardiovascular disease. Who can tell me Do you have any diabetic patients without a risk factor? Whatever. Most of our patients, they are obese. Most of our patients, they have LDL cholesterol more than 100. LDL cholesterol more than 100 is a risk factor. Dr. Musbah told, who is going to test his patient for renal function, or other laboratory tests before starting the treatment. This is a must. If you are not doing, this is your problem. But it is a must. These are the American guidelines of American Diabetes Association. Till 2022, they considered metformin first-line therapy of management of type 2 diabetes plus or beside lifestyle. But what about the recent consensus of American Diabetes Association, European Association for a Study of Diabetes, which was published September 2022 and published in the Standards of Care of American Diabetes Association one month ago. They said that metformin used to be the first-line therapy traditionally because of its high efficacy and low cost, whatever. But they said that. However, there is ongoing acceptance that other approaches may be appropriate, notably the benefits of GLEB1 receptor agonists and sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors regarding cardiovascular disease and renal failure with the huge burden of macrovascular complications of diabetes, high mortality because of macrovascular disease, and the leading cause of industrial renal disease is diabetic kidney disease. These are the most recent guidelines of American Diabetes Association. The word lifestyle modification plus metformin as first-line therapy has disappeared from the recent guidelines. We must be updated. We must forget about the past or the past era. This is medicine. Medicine is up to date. Initiation of sodium glucose transporter to inhibitor in background of metformin. Dr. Mizbah mentioned about the high ratio of patients who were using metformin in the embryo and sustained sex. This is the embryo and the canvas problem. 
the reduction of cardiovascular risk was less in the patients on background therapy of metformin. And it was better in patients who were not on background therapy of metformin. To conclude, individuals with type 2 diabetes are at high risk of cardiorenal risk. Aim of diabetes treatment is to prevent acute complications or chronic complications. Sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors have cardiorenal protective effect, and the low cost of sodium glucose generics is cost effective. I think sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors must be first line therapy in most of patients of type 2 diabetes. Thank you.